first day at Carlisle, Wednesday morning. It's in the uh, mid 50s. No rain so far. Plus the uh, chance of a little bit of a shower coming through here today. So we'll have to see how it works out. But uh, just walking along, got my coffee in hand, and uh, we'll just go ahead and check out some of the sites. See what we can find now, because it's pretty early. There might not be uh, too much that's open right now. So what I'm going to end up doing is uh, heading straight down through here to the car corral and go down there and look around, see what's in place. <clears throat> it's like some Pontiac stuff. Oh, is that right? I don't need any more intakes, I tell myself, and yet I'll still probably buy one today. Ooh, what we got over here? I see some, looks like Camaro seats. Are they? No. No, they're not. They're not Camaro. I was thinking. Distributors. Like I said, I got like 12 distributors right now. I really don't need to buy any more. <clears throat> Every time I say I don't need some, I'll end up buying it. You know, it's just... The prices aren't bad. Is there anything that you need? Sixteenth. That's pretty cool. Alright, looks like Corvette land. There's a lot of Corvette stuff in there. But I don't have a Corvette anymore. Kind of miss it to a degree, but I had that for a number of years. Lots of caps. Guarantee I'm going to find one of those Pontiac caps that I just bought, and it's going to be dirt cheap. But I'm not going to complain. I'm happy with the way that worked out. If you haven't seen the video of the uh, Pontiac with the caps on it now, I'll post a link up here at the top. That way you can go check that out if you haven't seen that video. Let's see what we got over here. Wheels, 15 inches. Yeah. Clutch pedal set for Chevelle, 100 and a quarter. Is that a gas mask? What is that? <laughs> yeah, check that out with the goggle set. <laughs> You're ready for Armageddon. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. You ready for the zombie apocalypse too? All right. Is that uh, Hudson grill there? That's a pretty rare. Rare. That's a rare one. Got some unusual stuff in there. Packer grill as well. It's at uh, 350 on the doors. The running board is about 100 to 200. I'll give you an idea of some of the pricing. 57 Chevy skirts for 60 bucks. Seems like a pretty good price. Full bedside, 700. It's a COE Ford, 8500. It says good title.
still making our way down through the vendor area here, but it's all this nice looking El Camino. So I'd take a look. 17.5, it's a 79 Arizona car with a 350 power windows locks. 717-926-7836 is the number. Vinyl interior looks pretty clean inside. I'm not sure about 17 though. It seems a bit pricey. Nice clean car with a tonneau cover on it. That's kind of nice. Oh, I see some uh, flaws in the paint right there. I don't know if that's going to show up on camera. Yeah, I don't think that's a 17.5 car. That's probably about maybe an 8,500. Maybe I'm uh, undercutting a little too much. Fifty-six hood ornament. Got some Buick stuff. Old's grill back air. It's like an Old's bumper. A little bit of Dodge thrown in there. Or is that Plymouth? I guess that's Plymouth. So there's how much I know. SS console, no price. There's some Atrax back air, guys. Check those out. Getting closer to the car corral area. See a little Willis Jeep here. Take a look. So far, I'm not seeing any uh, signs on it. That is a nice top. I like that. That's kind of got an old kind of still a wagon look to it with that arched top. see through the plastic but um, it's got the right scent too smell gear oil it's awesome nice little Jeep but uh, no signage on it so can't tell you any more about it just walking along and just happen to see that 396 3500 date coded 67 Alright, found a nice little set of cars here. Got a Pontiac, what is this? I'm going to guess about a 50. Does it have a split in the window? Yeah, so 51. I wasn't too far off. Catalina, 9,100 miles, one repaint, original car. 419236 Not seeing a price, but uh, that's a nice car. Nice and clean. Really nice chrome on that. Of course, the uh, hood ornament. Those prone to cracking and fading. And that one there is mint. That is a really nice car you do not see a lot of. Take a look at that interior. Does that have the plastic cover on it? Sure does. Yeah, that would be a nice car. Huh? Too bad they don't have a price on it. Let's take a look at the one sitting beside it here. I'm going to assume that's either a Bel Air or a Biscayne since we only got four taillights there. Got our lower, got some probably about 17s on it. Got a looking original on the inside. This looks like it's on the column. I would assume it's probably automatic. Don't have any signage on it. Up oh, there it's on the fender. It's a Biscayne. Got a 77 Chevy Monza with a V8 in it. Two owners for 15 grand. I'm not a fan of that front grill. Gold Nugget wheels. Boy, she's right out of the 80s. It looks like a really clean car. Automatic on the floor. Oh, got the Pioneer box speakers in the back. Got that ugly 70s crap brown. Uh, it's period. You know, this kind of stuff is starting to come on again. As uh, these older 60s muscle cars get more and more pricey, some of this other stuff starts to get a little bit more popular. Oh, it's got a graphic equalizer mounted under the dash. 
Yeah, this is definitely right out of the 70s. Oh, oh look at that. The plastic mud flaps with the Chevy bow tie. Yeah, this is very 70s. Oh, oh, I just, I just keep finding more. <laughs> Everything you could get from the old Kmart auto section going on right there. Got a 67 GTO convertible 42.5. Okay, I'm saying GTO, but I'm not seeing GTO emblems. I don't know well enough. I mean, I could be looking at a Le Mans. I don't know. 717-504-3212, for 67, white interior, automatic on the floor, wood green dash. I'm going to go take a wild guess. Well, I don't know. Is that, is that GTO taillights? Sorry for the glare, but I was trying to look. There is a little flaw in the paint back here, a little run that someone worked on. Otherwise, it doesn't present bad. Top looks new. So, I guess there's supposed to be some sort of rocker trim down the bottom. I see holes down in there. Oh, something's going on with that back quarter. A little flaw going on in there. Yeah, there's some issues going on in here. You gotta look close. Not a bad car, but. Not sure. 42.5? Is that right? Moving on. Another GTO up there. I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to look at this. Uh, I'm going to look at this uh, Impala that just has lost its back bumper. <laughs> and front bumper. All in the same place. It's a 63. I guess this is going to be a project car. Get some red lines on it and uh, chrome reverse wheels with only two lug nuts. Look under this car. Okay. Yep, she's definitely a project. Ooh, we got a four speed on the floor. That's nice. Red interior. I like these cars black with red interior. I think they look awesome. We'll go over and we'll look at that sign here. Let me back up a little bit, get you a better view. Even with that primer on there, I can see where there's some fill in the fenders and the doors and the rear quarter. Definitely a project. Looks like a small block hiding in there, too. Alright, let's see what our sign is saying here. 15K. Yeah, 11K rolling without wheels and extras. 717-906-6569. It's a frame off. Tubular A-arms, two-inch drop, brake lines, gas lines installed, new floor. Oh, it's a project car. Yeah, you can see there's there's fill. Oh my god, you can see that's that's a good eighth inch thick right over where the trim goes. Uh, that scares me, guys. Yeah. Uh, that's got some plastic in it. I wouldn't touch that for that kind of money. But then I am cheap. I think there's a 409 emblem on there with a small block in it. Alright. Oh. We got another GTO we'll look at over here before we go over to the other side. I like that color combo. That looks good. Another 67. Got the hood tack there. Uh, number is 5709049262. Don't have a price. That's a nice look at the Pontiac tack. Or an automatic on the floor. Wood grain, wood grain steering wheel, black interior. That is a nice color. Got the old school Kragers and some red lines. Black vinyl top. I like that. That looks nice. That looks real nice. Do I get a look at the Judge? It says Tribute. 69 Judge. 68K. Do you like the color? Ram Air Hood. Uh, 908 358. 6862 is the number. 
we do have a title showing on there so there you go black interior looks like maybe four speed on the floor tribute so what does that mean this was started life as maybe a Le Mans and converted doesn't say I couldn't tell you on that price if that would be good or not but sure is nice looking Got a little cracking going on in the nose Got a set of Impalas over here. We'll start with the 59. It's got a crate. What's a crate? No. <laughs> 572, 720 horse, I guess it is. Four speed, a nine inch in it, 48 grand. Numbers 570560 Got the big old scoop on it, pop riveted on. Looks like I got a maybe a sweet patina finish on it. Going for that uh, patina look. Got a big old tag up on the dash. Four speed on the floor. It's a cool car, but and Biscayne. Now we look on this one here. Is this a Bel Air or Biscayne? Biscayne, it says. White. What interior we got? Silver and charcoal. Another four speed car. Is that a cover on the dash? That's really rough looking. I guess that's a cover. It's got some old school wheels on there. Not a bad look. 29.5 is a 327. Same phone number as the. I oh know it's not the same phone number, is it? No, 570-974-1792 is that number. Got a couple little flaws up there on the top of the door. Oh, check it out. Got uh, capped headers on the side there. She ready to go racing. There you go, 29.5. Big old mobile here. A rocket four fifty five. Oh, that's a convertible. Got some slots on it. There you go. Now you're speaking my language. It's like a dark blue. Got some issues going on with that hood. What is that all about? That's all pockmarked. Uh, let's see what we got. Being sold as is, and as is price. <laughs> we don't have a price on there. Well, okay. Number seven one seven nine one nine four seven seven seven. It's a sixty eight. Black interior. Kind of a tannish color top. I'm not sure what happened with this paint. Whew. Some weird staining going on. A lot, a lot of pock marks underneath of that. What is going on? Is that rust forming under it? Got some bubbling on the quarter. Boy, they chose the wrong place to put this car under this lighting. Uh, it makes that really pop. Would have been better outside. Well, it's got state inspection fresh inspection on it, so I guess you're good to go cruising. But again, no price. Got a fastback Mustang. Got some nice looking wheels on that. Sets that off pretty nice. Badging says 408. I assuming that's some sort of a stroker. I don't know Fords. Not that I have a problem with Fords. Just not familiar with it. I didn't grow up with that. I grew up with, with Chevrolets, so that's really what I know. Uh, she is a manual. I'm assuming that looked like a four speed. Look back down on the deck. It's a nice, clean car. There's no information on it, though.
But it is a nice clean car with a nice stance. A Pinto. More intakes. Yep, okay. Moving on. Corvette. Nope. All right. You know, I saw this from a distance, and I thought, man, that guy really lowered that Corvette. That's down in the grass. Nope. Just some replacement parts. <laughs> All right, there's not a whole lot more that was in the car corral area, so we're going to go back out and do some more of this swap meet. So I'm going to head up the hill and uh, bring you back in when I start seeing some things that are interesting. Yeah, crested the hill. Just thought I'd give you a little view here. This is what first day spring car law looks like. Not a bad turnout. It uh, probably be a bit more than tomorrow. But it's still worth a while to come on the first day. If you've got a part that's difficult to find, you want to be one of the first to get in there and find it. At least that's always been my mentality. 400 for some Camaro wheels. I always like that wheel set. Split bumper. 30 bucks. That seems like a pretty reasonable price if someone was looking for one. Got some steering columns. Yeah, Oh, that's a tow column. Floor shift. Yeah. That's probably not a bad price, too. Intakes? No, I don't want to look at the intakes. That's power. Got a number of things here that's my style. $100 for all. 14 inch. Hmm. I don't really need them, but. Unilug. Mm. Yep, they get worse as they go. Painted. Alright. Uh, Bronco grill for 300 bucks. I know that Bronco stuff is getting uh, pretty expensive. Lights work. Oh, look, like you can plug it in. That's wall art. Okay. All kinds of uh, go-karts going on here. Three-wheelers. Well, everything. Wow. It's the golf cart drag strip here. Just walking through some rows. Come across this uh, shoebox Ford. Looking pretty nice. Got the tiki head on there. Nice chop on it. 26 grand. It's a 302 in it. 241-291-4966 is the number. Nice clean car. Nicely done. Maverick over there. We got lots of stuff laying out. We're gonna have to start looking a little closer here to see what we can find. Uh, that looks like all Corvette. Yep. Alright, moving on. We got a project car, a 62 Chevy Nova with a 400 in it. Or is that a Chevy 2 400? I guess that's what they were. Six cylinder. 7500. Got some lacquer paint. You can see that normal checking. You don't even have to put the top down. There's plenty of sun in there. Really not that hateful. I mean, it's 
got some rot here and there, but really that's not that bad. 7500 I know these cars are not cheap. They bring good money. That seems, that seems like a fair deal to me. The top is there. That would be hard to get if, uh, if it wasn't. Number is 301-730-5065. Let's take a look over the fence here at the track. You can see what it looks like. Uh, pretty sparse. Wow. There is not much down there right now to speak of. If you're a regular car, Lyle, you know what this used to look like back in the day. This would be completely filled up. All right, back to the hillside. Did the whole hillside. I only saw a couple things that were mildly interesting, but then it started to rain a little bit, so... Didn't want to do any filming during that. What we got over here? We got a dart for seventy nine ninety five. Got a vinyl top on it, looking a little bubbly. Don't have much to say. I can't tell you a whole lot. Give you a good look at the sign here. What's the best you'll do on that? There you go. Looking for a dart. Okay. Is that zoomy headers? Yeah, he's here too. That's another thing I don't need. More headers. Alright, I got it. More sign, that's pretty cool. Yeah, you gotta try them. I mean, uh... Oh. Corvette hood. Got me stuck in the Corvette row here. Moving on. Let's see what's over here. It looks a little more interesting. One dollar tarp. That's the five dollar tarp. Back on again. Had to take another little break. Had another light shower. Really wasn't that bad. I just... When it starts to rain, people cover things up so there's not as much to see. Got some nice chrome reverse. Those look like a probably five on fives. Oh no, four and three quarter. I don't need any more wheels. I have so many wheels stacked up. 500 on the intake. Model A stuff. As I said, people cover things up when it starts to rain. Copyrighted music, so we're going to take a quick stop here. A few more cars for sale. Got a Rally Sport Camaro. 18. No other information on it. I got no phone numbers for you. This generation Camaro, these early years, usually bring a good amount of money. Or at least pretty good size asking prices. Typical condition. You can see a little bit of bubbling here and there. A little bit later model, about 78, 79, 16, 
58 for 15 grand. We've got a cover over the glass. That's not a good sign. C10 truck with a lot of bubbling on the hood for 25. These prices are a little bit high. 38 on the 63. I don't like that cow hood on that 63. I just don't like that. And I'm going to come down, see what's on the trailer here. Another Nova. Big surprise I'd be filming a Nova. So what is that, about a 71? Got a little bit of plastic in the quarters. Ooh, sheet metal dash. Texas glass windshield. No information on that. What else we got in here? That's pretty cool. I don't think that one's for sale. Well, Danny doesn't care, but John does, yeah. All right. Bought a few things, but it's time to get some lunch. Looks like I found Console Central here. Got a good mix. Running for about 200, oh, well, about 150 to 300. GS down there, 150. They don't seem too badly priced. Alright, we're going to go on to the grandstand and see what our food options are. That way, if you've never been here before, give you a little look at that. Nice clean F body here. 86, 30,000 miles, 15.9. Get you in for that phone number if you're interested. All right, time for lunch. Looks like it is before lunchtime itself. I'm not too crowded in here. Got Stoltzfus, good old Pennsylvania Dutch food. Ham and cheese sandwich, your shoe fly pie, your whippy pies. Plenty here. Got your typical fried chicken. Get your subs, or in this area, hoagies. Where else we got? Pit stop isn't open. Get your pizza from Marcello's. What else we got? Uh, got your dessert, get your ice cream, or your hot dogs. Sherman's. Yeah, I, I was wondering how you got it wrong. So I decided that uh, didn't see anything at the food court that looked interesting to me here today. So there's another place I'm going to go to. It's a barbecue shack down here on the corner. So we'll check that one out. So here's the other option. Got market cross. Got some pulled pork. What we got? Oh, we got smoked beef brisket sandwich. Pork sandwich, big daddy dog. Right, check. So I wound up getting myself a uh, beef brisket sandwich. I married a guy himself the uh, chicken fingers and fries. See how this tastes. That is good. Very tender. Good morning, my dog. Red. All right, finished lunch, so back to the swap meet. <clears throat> that looks like some palace stuff over here. Not that I need any of these things, but at least I know what I'm looking at. All right. We got a 
whole place set going. <laughs> wow. The things you'll find at a swap meet. You just never know what you'll find. <laughs> what for engines do we got sitting around here? Look like Ford engines. Make offer. I couldn't even tell you what they are. The rain has stopped at least a half an hour ago, but we still got things covered up. Sixty Chevy fenders. Those are like a good price. Oh, four seventy five, maybe not. Oh yeah, yeah. Got a fifty nine El Camino. Probably a two eighty three would be my guess. For fifty nine, yeah, that would be a two eighty three. Five grand, six eight one, four two four, four two five six. Gonna need quite a bit of work. I'm thinking there was one of these on marketplace for like twenty five hundred, but it looks like they drug it out of the woods. This don't look a whole lot different than that one. Going to need a bit of work. That's pretty cool. I guess that's another cooler like we saw at the other show. You could have bought one for 7200 Yeah, brand new. Show my four of them. If I knew now, uh, I would have stole the money from somebody. Camaro front. Uh, it's been scratched on so many times, I'm not sure what that is, about 160 I guess. Well, my cart is loaded, and uh, it's just lightly raining again, so I am going to uh, end this video here. I will be back again tomorrow, and I'm probably going to do a lot more car corral tomorrow and hunt down car projects, and just kind of give good details and maybe do some ratings on those since I've done most of the swap meet. So if you want to see more on car corral and that type of stuff, that's why I'll be filming then tomorrow. So if you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit the subscribe button, drop me a comment. What do you want me to take a look at then tomorrow? And I'll see what I can do to help you out with that. As always, thanks for watching.